Today I'm going to talk about in my challenges in math video, quite possibly the most controversial topic I've ever talked about, and that is whether or not you should show your work. There are three major perspectives on whether or not you show work. There's the teacher's perspective, the student's perspective, and the professional's perspective. From the teacher's point of view, they would like you to show work for a couple of reasons. They certainly want to be able to see your logic, to check your understanding. They're not there to get you to manufacture the right answer per se, they are there to get you to understand. That understanding is really what the teacher is hoping you're gonna walk away with. On the other hand, while every teacher has a different grading style, many of them want to give you partial credit and they can't justify that if all they're looking at is an answer. But the third and kind of most uncomfortable reason is that there are people who will cheat and one of the signs you can tell is when someone simply copies down a whole bunch of answers without any work. Sometimes this can go uncaught. Other times you can have some hilarious problems with this, like the time I caught someone miscopying 38 as 3B because they tried to cheat and couldn't read properly. It may feel like you're being punished for someone else's misdeeds, but remember, showing your work isn't a punishment, and those that do cheat, they'll work themselves out. Now moving on, from a student's perspective, there are actually a couple of reasons you would want to show your work. Yes, the downsides are it takes more paper and it takes more time, but the upsides outweigh that. You will catch more of your errors if you actually go through and show your work. But also, let's say you did show your work and you didn't catch any errors and you get the problem wrong. You'll be able to reflect on your process and say, oh, this is where I went wrong. This is where I have a tiny gap in my understanding that I can then fill in. A big part of math is trying to figure out where your process went wrong so that you can understand it correctly. This is not just true of math, this is true of any skill. From a professional's perspective, you're going to be showing your work sometimes because you outright have to. If you're building a bridge, you need to show your work because other people are literally paid to come behind you and check your work. Obviously, we're not all going to be architects. If you're going into architecture, or the sciences, or engineering, or any of these fields that automatically use math, then I don't need to explain the showing work to you because that's just going to be a part of your job. On the other hand, even if you're not going into those particular professions, you may still want to become an entrepreneur. And if you do, you are going to encounter math, and it's going to be up to you to make sure that you do it right. If you're going to go into business, you want to minimize the amount of risk you're going to take, while at the same time making sure that you maximize your profit, the well-being of your employees, whatever it is. You want to make sure that you're making sound decisions. And the best way to do that is to work as methodically and carefully as possible, which includes showing your work. Now, what work do you show? Well, this is going to depend on the class. If I'm teaching arithmetic, then yes, I want to see the actual calculations piece by piece as you do the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, whatever it is. On the other hand, if we're doing algebra, I want to see the inverse operations, I want to see the graphs that you set up, that sort of thing. But if I'm teaching calculus, then there's actually a lot I want you to hide. I don't want to see the individual arithmetic operations. I often don't even want to see the inverse operations. The steps you're going to show for your work are going to depend on the class. Your teacher will be happy to tell you, I'm sure, but as a rule of thumb, if you're learning a process of some sort, you want to show the steps of the process you're learning. But like I said, your teacher's going to tell you what they want, so your mileage may vary. So, in short, I would suggest showing your work that's relevant to your class. Ask your teacher for whatever it is that they want. It may help you with partial credit. It may help you with understanding. But it is definitely part of doing the job right. Thank you to all of my patrons for supporting this video. Thank you to Aragami for letting me host it here. And, uh, yeah, with that, I shall bid you adieu. And I don't have a joke. This time I'm just gonna keep talking until I finally fade out this thing so that no one can actually talk. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. If you really like the video, come on over to our Patreon page where you can get involved and see all the cool stuff we're doing.